um, by his grace, the title for our lesson today is Return to God. Return to God. And we can also do a subtitle and say that uh, it is uh, going back to God. Uh, for all the things, the events that we have uh, uh, experienced or seen or heard about, and, uh, we have again been distracted. We have been focusing on this, but God says that we should focus on him. We should return to him and we should seek God. We should seek his ways. We should seek everything that he is uh, giving to us so that as we said in the proclamation, uh, you know, we should seek ye, my El Shaddai, the Lord God Almighty, while you may be found. That means God wants us to seek him while he may be found. While it's an, there's an opportunity for us. It's like uh, God is traveling. Let's use that. Uh, he's traveling uh, he's walking as the Lord Jesus Christ who used to go. He will be going, and then uh, some people know that he doesn't run, he doesn't go fast, he goes slowly. And that was why even Zacchaeus, who was a short guy, who uh, was short in such a way that he knew he couldn't see because the crowd and everybody would be, uh, you know, at all, and he would be short. So he wanted to see the Lord. So what did he do? He ran all the way ahead knowing that the Lord Jesus Christ was walking slow. So the example is that while there is an opportunity for us, and while we have life, while we have breath, let us go back. Let us redeem the time we have. I think we uh, part of the uh, science also says uh, we should redeem the time that we have because everything, it says, thy precious time misspent. Everything that we have wasted, let us go back and redeem it so that by his grace we'll be able to get, uh, you know, dependent. So as Christ is going, Christ is alive, Christ is walking by, we have to make sure we seek him, we go after him and say, Lord, Lord, please uh, help me, you know, uh, bless me, give me this. Because Zacchaeus wasn't wanted to invite the Lord Jesus Christ. So in our case, uh, Isaiah 55 is telling us that seek the Lord, go after him. And what, what does it mean to seek? Seeking means that you prepare, do everything, you know, go after it because if it's like a train or it, an airplane that is, you have to catch, catch it before it goes. And why, how do we catch uh, the Lord? How do we seek the Lord? It means that we have to be prayerful. We have to go to him with a genuine attitude and say, Lord, yes, I trust you. I have faith in you. I believe in you. Please help me and help me to get what I need. So Isaiah the prophet is telling us, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. And it is something for all of us to go back and say, Lord, uh, the time we have uh, wasted, let us uh, please redeem it. We want to redeem it. We want to do your will. And so that is what he is saying. And God is now telling us, let the wicked, wicked, uh, the wicked forsake his way. And the wicked is anyone who is sinful or anyone who has sinned. And the unrighteous man or woman, his or her thoughts. And the fact is that, yes, everything that uh, we are Christians, we have all been, and we are still Christians, but sometimes we slow down, sometimes we stop, sometimes we go backward, and we have to always make sure we redeem the time. And that is why he's saying that, let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man and woman, uh, his or her thoughts, let him or her return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him and her, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. God is merciful. God is ready. And so while we have an, the opportunity, just as uh, he said, we should uh, go to God and ask him, Lord, please help me. Because the reason is that when things are going on and we use our own mind, 
oh, it will be this, it will be that, it has to be this or that, you know. It is, God is telling us that my thoughts, you know, are not your thoughts, which is true. And sometimes we feel that, oh, uh, we have to do it this way, it has to be this way. God has his purpose, God has his agenda. So anything, whether it's, uh, again, as we've explained in the proclamation, I think the proclamation covers everything that will uh, be. Anything that happens in this world, in our life, and it's always spiritual. Because it's the devil's agenda to disturb us, to uh, confuse us, to deceive, to do all these things in, in order for us so that we will not focus, we will not have faith, we will not believe in God. But as we said in Heavenly Father, my Lord Jesus Christ warns me against worrying about spiritual problems in my personal life, in my work life, in my home life. I mean, locally, internationally, spirit, and not everywhere. Because the whole agenda is to confuse us. But when we realize what God has said, then we are able to uh, focus and go back and then claim and also be strengthened by God's uh, ways. Verse 8 again, For my thoughts are not your ways, and not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. Verse 9, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, and so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts and than your thoughts. So those are the proclamations that God wants us to really uh, you know, focus on. And what did uh, Job do, uh, uh, do? Job, he had problems. I mean, serious problems. Tragic problems that uh, of course uh, his life it's so uh, blessed with the fact that his children who were living like royalty died because the devil took opportunity and killed them, destroyed all of them. Job was a wealthy man at that time and he lived a life of uh, uh, spiritual, uh, you know, uh, worship. He was always worshiping God, praising God and doing it. But then there were some few things he didn't know. He was, let's use the word, he was negative. And he didn't know uh, God. He was a Christian, all right? Let's use that word also because in those days, uh, the Old Testament, they didn't, you, but he was, he worshiped God. He feared God. But the devil took an opportunity and caused him in his mind that he was always afraid. He was always negative. He was always saying, oh, maybe, maybe my friend has sinned. Maybe my children have sinned. Maybe this sin has gone on. Maybe this sin has gone on. And so he was always doing that. And then he, was, uh, he faced these tragic uh, things that happened to him. And the wife was even saying to him, you know, curse God and just and die. He said, no, 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 I can't do that. When God brought in, even his friends came and they tried to uh, encourage him. But afterwards, at the end, when it was uh, almost over, God said, okay. God asked him so many questions and he couldn't answer. And so this is what he said. He says, I abhor myself. I, am, I, I feel horrible for what I've thought, what I've done. And repent in dust and ashes. So if Job... A righteous man, a Christian, let's use uh, that title for him to describe him. He realized what he has done and asked God to forgive him and uh, repented of his bad thoughts. We also should start to do the same thing. We have to ask God, Lord, help me and control me. Let your will be my will so that I will be able to receive your blessings. And so that is what he did. And God bless him. The end, God gave him more ch new children and bless him and made it even more. So there's an opportunity for us to receive the same blessing. So uh, let us uh, now understand uh, what the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ told us. And uh, because that will help us.